accept the next question from the mic. How should we do it? The brother asked the question that Malaysia is a multiracial country. If Hudud law has to be applied, how should it be applied? Brother, I don't know the constitution of Malaysia. I'm just a traveler. What Islam says, I can tell you. Malaysia, I'm not the right person to have asked. Quran says, Fas alu al zikri in kuntulata alamun. Ask the person who is an expert. I'm not an expert in Malaysian law. I have not studied the constitution of Malaysia. So I will not know what does Malaysia say. I can say what does Quran say. Quran has given capital punishment for certain crimes. That I can comment on. For example, if someone commits rape, in Islam, it's capital punishment. People may say, oh, capital punishment in this age of science and technology. Islam is a barbaric religion, merciless religion. I normally say, and I've asked this question to many non-Muslims, thousands of them. If God forbid, Someone rapes your mother. And if the rapist is born in front of you, and if you are made the judge, what punishment will you give that rapist? Brother, God forbid somebody rapes your mother. And if the rapist is born in front of you, what punishment will you give him? Brother. Capital punishment. Capital punishment, correct. So when I ask this question to non-Muslims, 100% give the same reply. So when someone rapes your mother, you want to give capital punishment. When somebody rapes somebody else's mother, you say capital punishment is wrong. So in Islam, for certain crimes which involve fasad, corruption in the world, in this life, there is capital punishment. And I'm asking you the question, that before capital punishment, there's a rule called hijab in Islam, that the woman should be properly dressed up in hijab, the man, when he looks at a woman, he should lower his gaze. Surah Noor, chapter number 24, verse number 30 and 31. So in Islam, the woman should be dressed up modestly with hijab and a man should lower his gaze. After that, if anyone rapes capital punishment, I'm asking you the question today, you know, America, people look up to America as the most advanced country in the world. Do you know the maximum rapes in any country in the world? It is USA, America. According to statistics of 1990 FBI report, Every day, on an average, 1,756 rapes took place. According to statistics of 1996, U.S. Department of Justice, every day, 2,713 cases of rape took place. That means every 32 seconds, one rape is taking place. You know, we are in this auditorium for the past three and a half hours. Already, 350 rapes have taken place in USA since the time we are here. Since the time we are here in this auditorium, 350 rapes have taken place in USA. I'm asking you the question that if we implement the Islamic Sharia in USA, that every lady should wear the hijab, the man should lower his gaze. After that, anyone rapes a woman, capital punishment, death penalty. I'm asking you the question, will the rate of rape in America, USA, will it increase? Will it remain the same or will it decrease? Brother? Decrease. Decrease, correct. You implement the Sharia, you get results. That's the reason certain times you have to give capital punishment. You have to implement the hudud. And if you implement in any country in the world, believe me, the crime will come down. That's the reason I say Islam is the best way of life. That's the reason the least rate of rape in any country in the world is in Saudi Arabia where this law is practiced. I don't know what law is practiced in Malaysia. But if you implement this law in Malaysia also, inshallah the rate of rape will come down. Thank you.